what you have to do on the first start of Adobe Acrobat Pro is uh, enter in if you did an upgrade the old license number that you had and uh, I did that and you know I could see that it worked but I'll just show y'all that it does and file open I don't know if I have any yeah I do have PDFs on the Drobo tons of them let's get this old three column network card documentation da, da, da. there we are there it is now if I want to now why is it doing that oh <laughs> that's a pleasant surprise mm hmm there is a serious issue and that serious issue I will tell you right now that serious issue that serious issue that arose that, that was problematic for Adobe was the fact that it couldn't phone home and send my license back to um, Adobe and what happens is, is in my Windows 7 setup on my Pentium 4, which is an older computer, but I shouldn't have to buy a new computer just to run software that runs so beautifully both here and in Linux on my other desk, as you can see. You know, I'm not stuck. I'm not I'm having to wait five seconds every time I open something for it to phone home and come back and then let me do what, I'm, what I've already paid for. Um... <laughs> Let me just go over here, I think. During that time, what it was doing is, um, I've got a ton of stuff. I'm just going to get out, get out. I guess I'll go into Windows. And this is the uh, dual, this is the uh, serious time suck that dual boot has. The uh, impact that dual ha dual booting has on your on your on your day because we're workers that, that never ever ever pause at all. You never have to pick up papers. Our hands are always on the keyboard, and our uh, production is going to we're going to go out of business if we have to do this. Uh, Ubuntu is a little slower than it was. Um, I got KDE in there. Uh, this is Ubuntu, but with Trinity's KDE installed, so I don't know why that Kubuntu thing shows up other than that's what it does after you put KDE in. And so I think right now I'm on 2 minutes and 30, uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds of my camera time here. And so if, if you had to, to dual boot, say, to go look something up, or what have you, or what not, and my computer usually never hangs this much, And but but because you're on camera, you get to see me pull the cord, and uh, but because you're on camera, the uh, <laughs> crossovers thing doesn't work, and package source won't work, and Haiku, and, and NetBSD won't work, because I'm, yeah, but if I didn't have the camera, all that would work, and actually it's just, it's magic. Okay, so here comes my boot. Usually the hang, it doesn't hang here that long. I'm still only at three minutes, right? I didn't lose a day, I didn't lose an hour. No, if you, <laughs> you have to go pick up a print job by the time you come back, well, here we are. You know, now we're at 3.40 in this recording. And uh, it used to be Windows would be kind of slow at shutting down unless you made a couple changes, but I was able to research those and, and get them. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Windows. And I had this little I had this little um, utility from sys, sys internals to uh, defrag the, um, the, the swap file, Windows swap file. Every time you boot in, it seems to help with speed somewhat. This is a Pentium 4. The old Penguin, it's souped up. It's got like two or maybe four gigabytes of, um, of, of RAM in there. Okay, now we're going on four minutes. Just to prove me wrong, you bastard. We'll go in here. And I'll show you what happens when I open up the same. And, and, and in fact, if uh, the world doesn't end, or I don't have to stop this video by the time I get to um, 
reboot and get to open it. Maybe I could reboot and go into Unix on the same machine and show you the time difference on this. So there's my Adobe Pro 9. Aren't we all happy? Because it's Windows. Yeah, I can guarantee we're not. Okay, so there it is. It's opening something. Now, if I go to open, and I may have applied that tweak already, but if I go to the, let's see, the Drobo. Okay, here we are. See, right now I'm clicking on this mouse. I'm getting no response. And then it does that thing where it kind of whitens up, and I get a spinning ball. And then, and then the death grip is released. And then I can go and, you know, go in my IT documentation. And it'll work just fine from here on out, except that it's just a little tad bit slower to load up and open things. In fact, even there, it's just kind of trying to decide whether I have the right to open up this file. Do I have the right? Oh, my God. The pennies that are flying, you know, the dollars are going to go bankrupt if I can't, you know. So this thing is, you can see, it's so unresponsive, right? I mean, and if you're doing a lot, of PDF editing and you're like me and you just like to click on the files and open them and edit them that way not do file open every time you want to use a file or have to keep that other file that I just opened open or you didn't think of it you're, you're gonna have a hell of a time you're just gonna keep on having those those lockups those delays okay this is a dual boot the way it should go Yeah, and that's about as long as my thing usually stayed. I'm not sure. i got to check and see what was going on with Ubuntu. There's always these little things you have to do in Ubuntu. That, oh, but I don't have it. I don't have... Yeah, because I'm moving from this desk, so I didn't... No, I don't have it set up. I don't have Adobe set up over on this one. But I will say there's not much difference between this new computer and the other one, as far as timing is concerned. <coughs> It is a very noticeable difference to stop.